Hi folks, this is all the fruit on the beautiful subtropic island of Tenerife in the city of Puerto. And here in this Parque de la Sortia, there are lots of different date palm trees. If you look at this one, it's a date palm with really tiny dates. If you look around the, if you look around the uh, paths of this park, there are lots of date palms, most of them Phoenix canariensis, the local endemic species, some Phoenix tactulifera. And this one, I would have said, is Phoenix senegalensis, an African species. However, yesterday in the botanic garden, I tried some Phoenix senegalensis, and yes, it was similar, but the fruit were maybe three times the size of those. Look at those tiny dates. I have no doubt that they are ripe, but they are really tiny. So I'll try them, and maybe they are something different, or maybe the variation in size of Phoenix senegalensis is quite noticeable. I mean, in Phoenix tactulifera, they are also very tiny and very big fruit. Imagine a medjool date, and then the your average feral date here on the Canary Islands or in the Mediterranean, one is like 10 times bigger than the other. Let's try this Phoenix. Those Phoenix are going in this stage. Hmm. Hmm. Those are sweet, <laughs> but also too dry. Well, here this palm has slightly bigger fruit. Let's try them. Let's show them to you in the sun. That's what they look like. Mm. Yeah, tasty. Yeah. Tastes more or less like a bit boring little date. However, there are few advantages they have. No tough fibers. Like the canary dates, the flesh basically melts off the seed. Look how clean I managed to get the seeds within a couple seconds. Oh, come on. I think here you can see them better. So this is quite an advantage. You get the seeds very clean very easily. More or less like it Phoenix tactilifera. The taste is mild, like a mild date. Not too sweet. Nothing too special, but eh? Totally a fruit I could forage. I mean, <clears throat> they are definitely much better than the local Phoenix Canariensis. I can imagine foraging a lot of those, chewing them and spitting out the seeds. They are not as sweet as normal dates, but normal dates are in incredibly sweet fruit, so yes, they are mild dates. I could also imagine mixing them with water, crushing them and drinking the sweet water. I don't know if it will be pleasant, <coughs> it's just an idea. And with a huge amount of fruit on those really small date palms, they Sometimes they grow a little bit taller than this, but most fruit, when they are still at a comfortable size for harvesting. <laughs> Definitely not a not an equal substitute for Phoenix dactylifera, but definitely better than Phoenix canariensis, and definitely something worth trying. I don't think you will regret it. There was nothing unpleasant about them. They are just not big or sweet enough to be a really valuable fruit. But, well, how many different slightly boring fruits do we <coughs> eat? I mean, if you want perfect fruit, basically eat Cavendish bananas or golden delicious apples or Napoleon cherries. If you're interested in the rare and unusual, those teeny tiny dates, not much bigger than rice corns, they actually do look kind of like black rice. 
Yep. Don't seem like a bad idea. So folks, those were some pin sized one centimeter dates, probably Phoenix Senegalensis. Stay tuned for a lot of fruit species from the farms, gardens and parks of Tenerife. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.